Hi there, we have another Authors Republic tutorial for you. Today we're going to deal with files peaking at 0 dB. So currently with Authors Republic, our retailers require that any audio we receive does not peak above negative 3 dB. However, we recommend negative 6 as the sweet spot, where it's not too loud, it's not too quiet, it's just a good spot. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. So first off, make sure you have access to your file. And then go and open Audacity, which is a free program. So once that's open, we'll just take this and we'll drag this file with the issue onto our timeline. So what we want to do now, we want to go into this drop down menu and change it from waveform to waveform DB. And what this does is it stops you from looking at the waveform in a frequency waveform and changes that over to a volume waveform. So dB decibels is basically volume. So we'll click that, and as you can see, the changes come in. So when we look at these, you can see on the meter over here on the top right, how the audio will jump as high as it can to hit zero dB. So as you saw there, that peaks right at zero dB. And that's bad, you definitely don't want that to happen because that will be rejected by retailers. So how can we fix this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What you wanna do is go in and select the entirety of your track. You can do that just by clicking over here in the corner. And you can see that it highlights the entire track. And then you wanna go up to the effects section. Go amplify. And you'll notice there's some stuff filled in here already. What you wanna do is go to new peak amplitude dB, and you want to change that over to negative 6. And you'll notice that the number up top changes along with that. Hit OK. Now this will run really fast because this is a short file, but if you have a much longer track you'll see a bar filling up with rendering time. But once it's done it'll bring your file back down into within range. So let's have a quick listen to that, and we'll watch that bar again. And you'll see right there that it actually finishes peaking at negative six. And that's perfectly acceptable. And everything from there forward in this file will peak at negative six and you'll be good to go. So now that our file is fixed, we can go export it. Which we can do by going up to file and export as MP3. If you've got multiple files, then go to export multiple. That way you're not selecting each individual file and exporting them one at a time. But right now, since we're just working with a single file, you can just export MP3. And that opens up this window here. So from here, you're gonna to wanna to save this into a place that you can access it, but also not the same place that your original file came from. So as you can see, we started off over here in problem tracks. Normally what we would do is we'll go in, create a new folder, which you can just right click and then create new. Or you can just hit the new folder button up here. Either way works just fine. So we've created a new folder and we've called it Fix Tracks. So double click on that new folder. And just as one step further, we're gonna change the name of the file just a little bit to further differentiate it from the original file that we've fixed. So we're just gonna type in dash fixed. And you'll notice down at the bottom here, there's a few different presets. And now what you want to do is you want to leave the bitrate mode as constant. And what that does is it keeps the same constant bitrate during the export instead of fluctuating it up and down. Because most retailers will only accept constant bitrate, as fluctuating bitrates can really alter the sound quality of your audio. It can be pretty noticeable and pretty unpleasant. So constant 192 bitrate, and we'll leave this in stereo. The track that we're working in is actually mono, but it won't force it into stereo. So just leaving it in stereo will be fine. We can hit save. It'll export that at 192. And we'll go back into our folders. Here's where we started things off with our problem track. We have fixed tracks and you'll notice it's right here. And to just kind of give you a better idea, if you look at that original track that we fixed, we'll pull that in on the timeline and we'll make sure that that too is also set to waveform. And this one is skipping right to the top of its waveform, but this one has a little more breathing room. Here's another example. That's peaking at zero. And that's peaking at negative six. 
So you're all set. That's everything for this Authors Republic tutorial. Hope you have a great day. And if you need any more help, we got plenty more tutorials for you.